doing a review of a 10 year old pistol or something. I actually, I, I have no idea how old it is actually, but it's insanely old. It's, I got it from a friend for maybe eight years ago. It's a really, 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 really fun pistol. Um, it's called a KSC. Um, please remember to subscribe to my channel. Please remember to like, and please remember to hit that bell. Hit that bell, please. Thank you. So, first off, I'm gonna show you this gun quickly. It's a KSC M M93 R2 from HW System. No, it's from KSC, but it's called HW System. I've been trying to find a lot of what is it called a a lot of. Um, a lot of information about this gun, but it's actually really, really difficult since it's an old, old, old pistol. Um, maybe some of you have it out there. It's a really fun pistol. It reminds me a little bit about a, of a Tomb Raider gun. Um, uh, but yeah, it's it's a really fun pistol. First off, I would like to say it's a fully automatic gun. It has three firing modes, as you can see here. It has. Um, what is it called? Semi, full auto, and free round burst, and they all work perfectly fine. It's a who knows how old this gun is. Uh, it's never had any updates. It's never been, never had any work done in it. It's very, very rough. It's very, it's very used. Um, you can see the plastic. Yeah, the other body is pretty much plastic. Um, but it's extremely heavy. I have no idea how they did it. Um, but yeah, let's do it like this. Um, <laughs> did the bottom fell off? <laughs> uh, this is actually like no matter which gun I bring to the um, to the field, this is always the gun that attracts the most attention for some reason. Like if you're an attention seeking person, a little bit like me. I enjoy the attention actually, it's kind of fun. Um, has a, no fiber optics on this old style, uh, um, wide point, you know, aim thing. It's gonna take down the mag maybe while I'm aiming at myself, you know. Um, it's a, it's 1.1, 1.2 kilo, 1.1 kilo this gun. It's extremely heavy. Um, I have no idea. A lot of it is plastic. But like this part here, the handle is insanely heavy, insanely. Like if you hold it, like if you try to like hold it and it just, like it just falls over. Um, it's just heavy. It's really, really heavy. And then with the magazine, like this is a 40 round magazine, 50 round. I'm not entirely sure, 40 round ish. Um, this magazine is horribly heavy. But this gun is probably one of the most, like, if I could get this weapon on HPA, this would be my main, main weapon over anything else. But it's plastic, it's gonna break. So, yeah, I'm gonna try to be as nice to it as possible. It's, um, it's a completely new design for 10 years ago. Um, there's a new version now, today it's in all black. It's a really fun weapon. Um, I would like to say, I was trying to find the prizes for this gun. And it ranged from 20,000 to 30,000 yen, which is around 200 to 250 dollars if you want to buy one. Um, I'm not sure why it's so expensive, but yeah, I, I guess it's a collect AD or whatever it's called. Uh, nothing fits with this. Like, I guess you can buy other ones and take in the parts to this, but yeah, the, the mag from the old one, from the new one, sorry, doesn't even fit, it, fit into this. So this is the only mag I have, and it's kind of, it's extremely unstable, but for some reason I can fire like two magazines worth of gas in this one magazine. Like, I can fire two, maybe a hundred rounds. It's insane. Um, but I'm gonna do a test. Maybe my memory is just a little bit rough around the edges, you could say, but this magazine holds up extremely well, and I'm just using my gas for my gas gun, for both my gas guns, I'm using this ASG Ultra Air Player's Choice. Honestly, 
I know nothing about gas, but this one is not red like the red gas or like any of the really extreme gas. Um, I'm trying to be nice to my pistols, to this or my other one. I was supposed to do a review on the other one, this one. Um, this one. But I sadly have problems with it right now. The slide is effing up, so there's not very good about that right now. But I'm gonna do a review on this instead. Um, this standard gas, it's very nice. It lubricates your gun, you know. It's really cool. Um, this one, I have never taken this gun apart, not even once. I've had it for an astonishing long time. Maybe. I've had it for eight years. And I've never done anything with it. It's been used a lot. And I actually haven't taken very good care of it, but it just works. It's amazing. Um, I will show you how to fill this now. It's pretty, I need to keep it away from my face because it leaks a lot. But it leaks for like two seconds and then I can just fire an insane amount of bullets. So yeah, let's see. You see, it's fine. Gonna put some more gas in. Oh my god, <laughs> it hit me on my toes and it hurt. Well, let's put some more gas in. Ah! You know, it's not very comfortable. You should probably fill it with something in it, like a, like with a glove or something on. Um, I'm gonna fire one without anything in and then I'm gonna do it. That's how we want our weapons to be. One second and I will do a chrome test. Oh yeah, quickly. Um, to share how this gun is loaded, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna share with you guys a very ex like ama amazing thing. I actually love this, it's kind of fun. It takes me back to back the days. I used to have a ton of Springer guns. So this is the Mac. This is the speed <laughs> So you take the BBs, put it in this beam. Nice. One second, I'm gonna try to put as many as I can. I'm not counting right now at all. Um, Remember to keep it tight. I'm using 30 gram BBs. It's completely over the top. But you know what? I have nothing else. And we all know that you never use your pistol, basically. Only if you're a pistol player. The primary arm is what you always use. Primary weapon, is that how you say it? Um, yeah, and it was easy as that. You just take this thing and you won't get in. It feels extremely, extremely satisfying. And people come to you outside on the field, they're like, oh my god, what is this? What kind of weapon is that? You can fill it with a speed loader, where you put your fingers up here, and you hold it down and you push it really hard. But um, it's not very good to tongue, like to this thing up here. It is completely metal, but I'm gonna try to keep it as, keep it as well as I can, like it's good quality again. Try to maintain it. Oh wait, I don't do any maintenance, but yeah. Let's go to the chrome test. So we are using the chrome here and we're gonna set it to the right amount. The right BB. Um, six millimeter, let's go. Because it's the BBs we're using. Okay, it's gonna be in meters per second and rounds per minute and in joules in the top. And I'm gonna show you guys how hard it shoots and yeah, all that, all of that jazz. One jewel. See, come on. One jewel, 30 grams. This is actually very nice. 1.8. No. 0 0.91 0 0.15 0 0.12 Let me show you It's extremely precise Like, it's the same all the time Oh Put it to turn on very fast, so Yeah Okay 
Let's do a full burst, a full round too quickly. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I only got to 23, but there's bullets everywhere. I can get it to 27 on its best. And 0 0.07, yo, I, I don't know where that's from. But it, sh it should be around at 0 0.9 to 1, yo. Um, so, yeah. Now we're gonna do the shooting test. Okay, we're gonna be doing the shooting test for, let's let's do a test here, how long it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. The shooting test is precisely eight meters away. Um, let's check how it is. That is on semi. Let's try burst. Be aware the bullets is gonna be everywhere now. See? Now with some more bullets in. I'm standing closer this time so the bullets is not gonna be everywhere. Yep, that was uh, 50 bullets. Just instantly gone. So. That is really fun, as you can see, it's very loud. It shoots insanely fast, and that's really fun. So, as you can see, the groupings for this gun is absolutely amazing for how old it is. I'm gonna take out the magazine. It's a really fun pistol, it shoots insanely fast, the burst mode is really fun. Overall, it's just a really, really fun pistol. If you want to invest $220 in something that's going to scare everyone in the field, this is a really, really fun pistol. Um, you can buy the new version, which has a lot of update parts and a lot of things if it breaks. This is just to the OGs, I guess, if you want to... Oh my god, the mag is insanely cold. Um, this is just for the OGs, if you want the original one, the one that came first. You know, I know some of you out there, SO Freaks, wants that. Just the real one, the first one. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, remember to hit the like button. Remember to hit the subscribe. Remember to hit the bell notification. And yeah, thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this review. It's an amazing pistol. It's a fun pistol. And if you want attention, get this pistol.